Moses. In Exodus 3, an angel of the Lord ministered to Moses, the prophet. Are you talking about the New Testament? In Matthew 1 verse 20, in Matthew 2 verse 13, the angel of the Lord appeared and ministered to Joseph. In fact, he came with an information that saved Joseph's life and saved the life of the infant Jesus. He asked them to carry the child and run for their lives and their lives because Satan has possessed the king Herod and was looking for the infant Messiah to destroy him before his time. The angel of the Lord appeared as well to the wise men that the king had asked to give feedback about the location of the of, of the of, you know of the infant Jesus so that he can go back, locate him in good time and kill the Messiah. Or the angel of the Lord appeared to the wise men and told them, Do not go back to the king, neither should you pass the same road. Take another way and leave. And the angel of the Lord appeared several times appeared even to Paul in the book of Acts 27 verse 3 uh, Acts 27 verse 23 Acts 27 the book of Acts 27 verse 23 the angel of the Lord appeared as well to Paul the apostle and gave him revelation instruction hallelujah amen so we can see even to Jesus ourselves Jesus our Lord the angel of the Lord appeared to Jesus himself and in Genesis, in Matthew 26, Jesus spoke about the angel of the Lord. See, see when, when, you know, when Peter cut off the ears of Marcus, the servant of the chief priest, when they came to arrest him, and Jesus took the ears and the ear and placed it back, and miraculously it was, you know, attached again to the head. And Jesus told him to shoot the sword and said, hey, Don't you think that I can pray now to the Father? Adonai Elohim Melech, Yahweh El Shaddai. I can pray to him now. And he was sending more than 12 legions of angels. Don't you think so? But if he does that now, how will the prophecy come to pass? How will it be to die for the world and to become the Lamb of God that takes away the sins of the world? How will it come to pass? Hmm. So you can see Jesus. The Bible says in the book of uh, Matthew 4 that uh, Satan came to tempt Jesus. The Bible says angels came and ministered to Jesus Christ after he has overcome the devil during the temptation. Angels ministered to him. Hmm. Hallelujah. And we can see that in Mark chapter 1 verse 13. Mark 1 13. Angels ministered to Jesus Christ. And all scriptures say angels came and strengthened him. Did the angels came and strengthened him? So angels can strengthen, can strengthen, can strengthen. Hallelujah. God's children. An angel of the Lord can strengthen you, can guide you, can keep you. Hallelujah. Amen. Can guide you. We can see in the Bible. Um, in the book of Genesis 17, verse 7 to 11, in Genesis 21, verse 17, Genesis 16, verse 7 to 11, and Genesis 21, verse 17. And the angel of the Lord guided Hagar, even Hagar that is not of the salvation of God, but because she was carrying the seed of Abraham. A seed of the prophet Abraham in a womb, Ishmael. Otherwise known as Ishmael. Now the angel of the Lord, the angel of the Lord appeared to her and guided her, instructed her, and saved the life of the lad, the little boy, because he is a seed of Abraham as well. God is a God of mercy, a God of righteousness. A God of all wisdom. Hallelujah. Amen. Mm. In Genesis 24, verse 7 to 40, an angel of the Lord guided an Abraham's servant, he guided Abraham's servant to Rebekah, his wife. In Exodus 23, verse 20, the Bible says, The Lord himself said to Moses, said, Behold, I send an angel before you to keep you in your way. 
The Lord Himself, Yahweh Elohim Eshadai, He said, Behold, I send an angel, my angel, an angel before you to keep you in your way and to bring you to your destination. So the angel of the Lord can guide you, can be sent by God to guide you. When you're going to somewhere, the angel, you can ask the Lord to send the angel to guide you, keep you, protect you, deliver you from evil. And direct your path to success. Many people don't understand this. Even the angels that are given charge over you. The Bible says, for he will give his angel charge over you. So God gives his angel charge over us. And that's Psalm 91. So God gives his angels charge over people. But many believers don't even know this. They don't really have a guardian angel. They don't, they, they don't really have an angel that keeps them in their way. That directs a path that's supposed to guide them. They don't even know. They don't even know the angel exists. They are un unaware you know, of this angel, the presence of the angel. I as a prophet, I have met angels often times. I have been revealed, and it has been revealed to me the angels walking with me several times. And even the name of the leaders, of the name of the leader of the angels, the group of angels walking with me has been revealed to me as a prophet. Do you know the name of the angel walking with you? Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Do you know many believers are spiritually that? They are just secular believers. And this is not a pleasing thing before God. For they that worship God must worship Him in spirit and in truth. And they that need to know God must know Him in spirit and in truth. How can you worship what you don't know well? You cannot worship one or something you don't know well excellently when you don't even know Him well. Many of us know God by uh, other people's experience written down in the Bible. Do you know God by your one-on-one -on -one experience with God? Like Abraham, has God descended in your house, manifested before you, as the angels of God been sent to you, manifested before you, ate your food, spoke to you, one-on-one, -on -one, walked with you, touched you, guided you, gave you money. I've seen this happen. An angel of the Lord has appeared to me, guided me, warned me, instructed me, gave me money, physical cash in my hands, oh, and told me, gave me instruction, which I will not give here. And by the time I got, I was, you know, I was stranded and lost in that place on that day. But after prayer, ah, in my spirit, I knew he has heard me. And I looked up to the heavens. I said, you have heard me, my father. Thank you, father. And as I was walking, here comes the angel. And I didn't even know until he has left me. But I was able to respond positively. And he gave me some money, some cash, raw cash in my hands because I was stranded in that place. Before I went there, I was warned that I wasn't going to meet the person, not see the person at home. And this person was owing me some good money, good money as a day. And I had nothing in my hand. But because I needed the cash and it was my money, I had to go there. And when I go there, I discovered what God was saying. And I was crying. I mean, really crying when I went through those trials, those ordeal. Had nothing, no way to come back home. No way. I begged everybody I could find around for money, cash to come back to make you know my tip fair, my transportation fair. Nobody heeded my oh God. Nobody helped me. And then I was going late at night. I'm gonna trek down home, trek back home. It may take me six hours to get back home, maybe around 12 a.m., 1 a.m., 2 a.m., 3 a.m. I don't know, but I'm gonna try because I cannot sleep here. As I was going, I looked up to the heavens and I talked to the Father. So unless you give me a miracle, oh my Father, oh. 
Otherwise, I'm going to die there. And the Lord spoke to me in his head and sent his angel. So as I was saying, when this angel finally left, was leaving, he gave me some money and gave me an instruction. When I got to the last, the bus stop, close to my home, I was right there in the bus stop. Something around is it 9 or 10 p.m. at night. People were walking in the bright lit bus stop, BRT Park. Bus rapid transportation, BRT Park, in a place called Gondo in Lagos State, Nigeria. And I was walking, people were walking. I lifted up my hands to the heavens with the money that was still left from the ones that the angel gave to me. And I lifted it up to the heavens. As I lifted it up to heavens, I was thanking the Lord, Father, the God of angels, the God of miracles, the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Ayadalem, Jehovah, Yahweh Yiri, King of glory. I thank you. I thank you for sending your angel to rescue me, to help me, and to bless me with this money. I shut my eyes, lifted my hands up to the heavens, thanking God while I was walking, walking, walking at the path, the bus path, the bus stop. And people who were seeing me were giving way. They, they must have taught me as a madman. Because a normal human being cannot close his eyes and lift up his hands and say some strange words. And the bus stopped. The buses were coming from behind and from the front part, the other side. And humans are walking. People, pedestrians are walking. And he shut his eyes and lifted his hands up and was walking. And normal human being cannot do, so, do that. And so people were giving me space. They were walking away. Where am I going? The moment I finished thanking the Lord with my eyes closed, and then I opened my eyes and I dropped my hands down, I found a, a word of cash right in front of me. A word of cash right in front of me. Miraculously, the angel dropped money again in front of me. Hallelujah. Yahweh Yiri. Thank you, Father. He dropped Oh, Malakaya, Malak Yahweh Yiri. Mm. He dropped in front of me money, word of cash, miraculously, right there, physical money. Hallelujah. I shouted for joy. I took the word of cash. I lifted it up to God again. I shut my eyes. I began to thank the Lord and kept walking forward and thanking the Lord as I was walking forward with my eyes shut and my eyes raised up to the God of heaven. That same night, around 10 p.m. at that same bus stop, that same park, and I was doing so when I finished thanking the Lord, I dropped my hands down and I opened my eyes. I saw money, money, a word of cash, again around in front of me, in a place, a park, a public place, a bus stop that people are passing. Hey, Shadaya, the Parabaya has a Yahasoya. Somebody listening to this, angels of miracle money, angels of divine provision, Malakia will hear you, Malakia has so, Malakia will hear you. They will listen to your heal. They will listen to your voice. They will hear your prayers as commanded by the Lord God Jehovah. Yahweh Elohim Eshra. They will give you provision. Miraculous provision. Miracle money. Miracle money. Financial blessing. Financial prayer. 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 Receive it. In the name of Jesus. Lord. Amen. The Bible says in the book of Psalm 103, verse 20. That bless the Lord, all you his angels, who excel, who are mighty in strength, who excel in strength. Another translation put it this way. So who are mighty in strength. Another translation. In fact, this is the Arabic, Arabic, the Arabic Bible. The Arabic Bible in plain English. Puts it this way. So bless the Lord, you and his angels, who are masters at power. Masters at power. They are powerful beings. Beni Elohim, Malak Elohim, messengers of God, carriers of great power, mighty ones, and the Son, the Almighty God, the God of gods, the King of kings, the King of glory, the God of angels, the God of heaven and earth, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Israel. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Amen. Mm. 
We can see that apostle Paul was guided by the angel of the Lord. And the apostles were guided, not just Paul, Peter. Peter, Paul were delivered from prisons by the angel of the Lord. You see, they have the Holy Spirit in them. But when it comes to deliverance from the attacks of Satan, from the captivity of Satan, of the enemies, it was an angel of the Lord that was sent forth to carry out the task, to carry out that duty. Psalm 34 verse 7. Angels deliver us those children. I speak to you. The angel of the Lord shall encamp around you and deliver you from all attacks of darkness. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Wherever you're listening from, as you're hearing this, I say receive grace. Grace, grace to become spiritual, grace to become spiritual, grace to begin to discern in the realm of the spirit, discern the presence of angels, grace to begin to communicate oh, with the spirit beings of God in the mighty name of Jesus, so that when God is sending you an angel, you'll be able to recognize that this is an angel of the Lord, even if he appears to you in a human form, or when God is doing something in your life and you notice something is around, or something is going on. On, you'll be able to understand and discern that the angel of the Lord is at work in this case, in this matter. So that you will not be frustrated. So that Satan will not deceive you and for you to think that nothing is happening. No, he sent his angel to carry out his work in our lives. You will discern. You will communicate. There are many people who have died mysteriously, even as believers. When the angel of the Lord is coming on their way to stop them from going to somewhere, going to a place, yet they could not hear the angel. They could not discern the angel. They could not perceive the angel. They were like Bella, the prophet Bella, who was so blind that he could not see the angel of the Lord standing in his path, standing there to kill him. Because angels can carry out judgment too to God. They can carry out the wrath and judgment of God on a nation. We saw that in the book of uh, Genesis when two angels were sent to destroy Sodom and Gomorrah. Angels can carry out judgment over nations, over people. Only two angels destroyed Sodom and Gomorrah by the power of the Most High God. So what am I saying? They are powerful beings. They are God's Special messengers. A true believer must be able to experience these spirit beings, mighty servants and spirits of God in their life and their walk with God. Just as every other Old Testament and New Testament true believers in the Bible encountered and complicated with these beings. I pray for you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. That if you have been missing the communications of the angels of God in your life, I pray for you. May God help you to regain and to understand, regain the link and have the understanding in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. You will not miss your paths. When the angel of the Lord is guiding you, you will not pay their ears in the name of Jesus Christ. When the angel of the Lord is blocking you from moving forth and being destroyed along the way, you will not pay their ears in the name of Jesus Christ. When the angel of the Lord is guiding you to go to a place to preach, or go to a place not to preach in that location, or to go to this other location to preach, you will hear and obey in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You will be richly blessed. Your lack, your lack, or you lack anything, you need healing, I prophesy that the healing angels locate you and heal you in the mighty name of Jesus, by the power of the Holy Spirit, in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. You are in lack like the angels of divine uh, provision, Malak Yahweh Yiri, Jehovah Yahweh Shaddai, locate you and provide for you in the name of Jesus Christ. 
You may break through. You are under this covenant. You are under this grace and anointing. And you are a partner. I say like the angels of breakthrough locate you. Give you breakthrough. 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 In the name of Jesus. Amen. It is well with you. God bless you and keep you safe. God keep you safe. God promote you. God prospers you. In all that you do, let the angels of the living God, the helper angels of God help you and keep you straight, keep you in the right path, in the fear of God, walk in righteousness, in the fear of God, and in the blessings of the living God. In the name of Jesus Christ, as an Abraham, the prophet of God, prays that the angel of the Lord will lead his servants to the house of Rebecca and bring a befitting wife. A God fear the wife and son I, I pray for you. And the angel of my father, the angel of the Lord Jesus Christ, the angel of the El Shaddai, Yayana, locate you, help you, help you. Let the angel of my father, Yayana, help you, locate you, locate you, and direct you to your path of glory, your path of success, your path of favor, your path of prosperity, your path of marital settlement, your path of bliss, your path of destiny, glorious destiny, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Once more, this is Prophet Bernard Jinamo, a.k.a. Man of Fire, the Apostle of Christ's Bayard Christian Center, the arena of power and solution, Lagos, Nigeria. Hallelujah. Amen. So if you've received, as you have received God's word, and God has laid in your heart to be a blessing to me, the prophets, and you want to sow into the life of the prophets, you want to sow into the ministry, because the Bible says when we bless you, this is God's word, that when we bless you with God's word, that you as a child of God should bless us as well, materially, he should provide, he should help and support the ministry, so that God's work will continue and to flourish, and as you cause God's word to flourish, he causes things to work in the house of God, and in the heart, life of the prophets. The same way, God, who is the God of the prophets, the Most High, and Elion, He will cause things to work out in your life. In the name of Jesus, for good and for glory. In the mighty name of Jesus. Giving is a key to receiving. Giving is a key to receiving. Giving is a key to receiving. Jesus Christ, our Lord, said in Luke 6, 38, Give, and it shall be given back to you. Good measures, press down and run and over. So when you give, expect to receive from God unfailingly in the name of Jesus Christ. Our Lord Jesus Christ said in the book of Matthew 10, 41, that when you partner with a prophet, when you receive a prophet, when you give to a prophet, when you honor a prophet, that you will receive the prophet's reward. You are blessed in the name of Jesus Christ. Abundance, favor, your miracles are released as you partner with me. In the name of Jesus, I command the angels working with me. Malakelohim Ashla, Malakelohire, Malakashai, Kalabo, so Malakayahaya. To locate you, locate you, locate you. Give you bread you, heal it, bread you, bread you, heal it. Turn around in your life, turn around in your marriage, turn around in your career. Bread you, total recovery. Bread you, deliverance from evil powers fighting you. In the name of Jesus, as you part of this grace, higher you shall go, higher you shall go, higher you shall go. You shall not go back. You shall not fall. You shall rise. You shall rise and stand and prosper in the name of Jesus. For it is written, believe in the Lord and you shall be established. Believe in his prophet and you shall prosper. Therefore, a prophet carries the grace of prosperity. I release the grace of prosperity now upon you as you partner with me. In the name of Jesus, as you seed, you seed to this ministry. You cause this ministry to blossom. I release the grace of prosperity upon your life. In the name of Jesus, your finances shall never go down. Your finances shall multiply and multiply. I release you the wisdom of financial excellence, wisdom for riches. Receive. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you, Father Most High. Hallelujah. 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 It is settled in Jesus' name. Amen. If you want to reach me, you can reach me directly on WhatsApp. There are many people now online uh, faking my site, faking you know my Facebook timeline, faking my Facebook uh, uh, pages. Uh, trying to defraud people. <laughs> Be wise and don't fall for them. So you can reach me. You want to give, you want to sow. Uh, you can make use of uh, Ria. You can make use of Water Meets. You can make use of Send Wave. International Partners. You can make use of what? Ria. You can make use of uh, uh, Send Wave. You can make use of 
Water means you can as well make use of a uh, monogram, but I prefer send wave and uh, water meets and real because they are easier to you know to get here. You can get the seed easily here that monogram. And for my details, you can contact me on WhatsApp directly. Uh, plus two three four plus two three four is a Nigerian uh, international dining home. Plus two three four seven zero six four nine zero five four zero zero. And I'll say that again. Plus two three four seven zero six four nine zero five four zero zero. Prophet Ben Ujenabu. So God bless you. God bless you richly. As you connect to this verse, as you part of this verse, let the mighty angels, angels of miracle money, angels of breakthrough, angels of deliverance, angels of divine favor, angels of healing and turnaround and solution that has been working wonders in the lives of those that are connecting with me, believing in my Father, the Most High God, Yahweh Elohim, El Shaddai, Jehovah, King of Glory, the Lord Jesus. And believing in me as his prophets. These people have been receiving miracles all over the world. Let these same angels locate you wherever you are in the world and bless you and give you your desired miracle, your desired breakthrough in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. And you're in Nigeria, you want to partner with the prophets? Well, my name is Benjamin Ojenabo. So, Prophet Benjamin Ojenabo, Prophet Ben Ojenabo. So, the name is Benjamin Ojenabo. And the bank is GT Bank, GTB, GT Bank, and the account number is 01-6224-1960. 01-6224-1960. And you're going to see it on the screen, actually. You're going to see it written on the screen for you to have these details. So God bless you. God bless you richly. Thank you for joining me once more in this exciting uh, episode. And more is still coming. How to command the angels, how to summon the angels who help, they are coming your way. So God bless you as you join me in glorifying God and in preaching God's word. For when you partner with the prophet, his God partners with you and you are joining him in the work of ministry. God bless you and reward you without failing because God can never fail nor lie in the mighty name of Jesus. Receive the grace. Amen. Shalom.